All right, welcome to a special live version of Cooking with a Veteran. I'm your host, Dave Rogers. And tomorrow being Thanksgiving, I thought that it'd be nice that I teach people how I make my stuffing. I know that's a you know big thing with people. They talk about different ways to do it. And of course, you know, as always, if you don't know how to make it, you can always buy some stovetop stuffing, uh, but we don't do that here, all right? So I have my uh, croutons here. Um, this is Texas toast. And for me, like Texas toast is like one of the best uh, types of croutons to use for making your stuffing. Of course, if you want, you can make your own croutons virtually out of any bread. Um, but it does take a while. You got to dry the bread out. You got to cut it. You got to put it in the oven with some olive oil and seasoning. And so we're not going to do all that. But I have my Texas toast croutons here. I have my typical... I have some celery, I have some red onions, okay? I have some ginger, I have my green onions. I'm putting a little bit of fennel. You know I love to cook with fennel. Fennel is a, is a great meal for me. Um, I have a little bit of leek that I'm gonna put in there also. I have my seasonings, my parsley, I have my rosemary, okay? And I have some sage. And of course I'm using my Irish butter. All right, really love me some good Irish butter, and I have some garlic, um, and this is basically, oh, and sorry, and andoli sausage, okay? And a lot of people who cook their stuffing with andoli sausage also like to put in um, oysters. I'm not a big fan of the oysters in my stuffing, but if you want to add oysters, that's fine. Just make sure that they're fresh oysters, um, you know, not pre-cooked because you're going to be cooking. You want to make sure that you cook everything um, before you stuff it into your bird. All right. You want the, all these ingredients to be fully cooked because if not, while sitting inside of the bird, it may not cook all the way through and you can get really sick. All right. So over here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start preheating my pan. All right. And I'm going to get my ingredients ready to go in. Like I said, I have uh, my leeks here. Okay, I'm going to add that into that. I've got my fennel. All right. I've got my ginger. Okay. I've got my green onion. And I'm not going to be cooking with um, olive oil this time. Uh, I'm going to be using just the butter, all right, because you want it to really stick to the breadcrumbs. And olive oil is more of a coating. This is more of a soaking into the breadcrumb kind of thing. I'm going to put in my half a stick of butter, all right, and I'm going to add in my celery, my onions, my chives, all right, my fennel, my leek, my ginger, I'm gonna put in some garlic, All right? I'm doing the pre-chopped garlic because I want it really fine and uh, really chopped up really good. And I'm gonna let this go ahead and cook up until, I wanna cook it until uh, the onions and the celery and everything is kind of translucent. You don't wanna burn it, um, but you want it to be translucent. Okay, so we're going to get that going. All right, so that while that's going, you'll notice over here, I'm not cooking a turkey. Um, you know, turkeys are kind of big, and it's just me and Grunt. Uh, so I'm cooking a chicken, but I'm soaking it in water with uh, salt, and I'm brining uh, the chicken. You would do the same thing with your turkey. You would brine your turkey um, so that it's kind of tender, and it cooks all the way through. All right, you want to kind of tenderize the meat some, and you do that by brining. Um, you'll notice also over here that I'm using a cast iron pot. This is what I'm going to cook my chicken in. Um, I love cooking in my cast iron pot because it really holds the heat. It's, the heat comes out evenly throughout um, the whole bird, all right, and... Um, it's really great for like sauteing and, and putting the juices over your bird. So I'm using my cast iron. All right, now that I got my vegetables going, they're starting to cook up. Now I'm gonna throw in my sausage. 
And I'm going to throw in my seasoning. Now, I've seen people where, you know, when they do the seasoning, you know, they'll put the seasoning just on top of the breadcrumbs. And you can do that. That's your choice. I like it to really get into the flavors, into the meat, into the vegetables. And so I'm going to put the flavoring now. Okay. All right, this is going along nicely. And I'm going to let this cook up for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so I'm going to cover this up and let that cook. And while that's doing that, I'm going to come back over here to my chopping board. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up uh, for putting my chicken in the oven. I got a nice onion, some nice carrots. Um, I'm going to wash the carrots, but again, I'm not going to peel them. You know, we've talked about this before. I love the skin on the carrots. It's extra nutrients, it's good for you, it tastes good, it gives a little bit of extra flavor. And I'm gonna chop my carrots, I really wanna chop it big, okay? Again, I don't wanna leave these small, I like the nice uh, chunk that I put into these meals, all right? So I'm not gonna cut these small at all. You know, the hard thing about filming live is if I make a mistake, I can't go back and correct it. So let's hope I don't make a mistake. And again, I'm cutting these at angles, not straight on, because I don't want them to stick to each other. I really want them to uh, let the juices flow in between. All right, so I got my carrots all cut up. I'm gonna put my carrots into my pan. All right, and like I said, I have this big onion. I'm not gonna chop this up really fine. This isn't for the eating so much as it is for adding flavor to the chicken. So I'm just going to chop off the ends, okay. I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut it into smaller sections, and this is just going to go in my pan, skin and all, and again, this is just for the flavoring for the chicken. And then I have my potatoes, and again, I got a nice mixture, I went to the market, and I got a nice mixture here of white and red potatoes, all right. And I'm going to, again, just wash these up. I'm not going to take the skin off because I love the skin. And I'm going to head, go ahead and chop these up and put them in my pan. Let me wash a couple of these. All right, so I got my potatoes. And again, I'm going to cut these up into various size chunks. Okay. Make sure I don't cut my finger. And the great thing about a meal like this is once everything's prepped and you put it in the pan, you got one pan for cooking it all in. You don't have to worry about putting it into a bunch of different pans. So you see, I got my potatoes, I got my carrots, I have my onion all inside of here, all right? Um, this is all ready to go for the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. And even though the cooking time itself is quite a bit for this. The prep time is not that much. You're talking about maybe 20 minutes of prep time, all right? Once you get through all the cutting of the vegetables and everything else like that. Let me go ahead and check. Oh, that looks great. I'm gonna turn that off. So I have my meat and vegetables ready for my stuffing. All right, so I have my, uh, like I said, I have my croutons here. They're already done. I have my nice uh, anoli sausage with onions and celery, and I'm just going to pour that all in, and I'm going to mix that around, okay? And again, this is, you know, the ingredients that you use is up to you. You can decide if you want to use the same ingredients that I do or not. You don't have to. And I still want, I don't want it to sit too long. I don't want it to get mushy, all right? I want the croutons to, at this point to still be kind of tough. They'll get soft inside the chicken. All right, so I got that all mixed up and now time to stuff the chicken. All right, so now my chicken, like I said, I've been brining this. This has been brining for about 45 minutes. With a turkey, obviously you're gonna brine it longer. Um, this is already kind of tender, all right? And I'm just gonna take my stuffing, a bit warm. <laughs> I'm gonna take my stuffing and I'm just gonna place it inside of the chicken. As always, I'm gonna season uh, the chicken up. 
I didn't add some butter this time, but what I'm going to do is I have this nice uh, citrus habanero uh, infused olive oil. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on top. Okay. I love the citrus flavor and, and the spicy flavor. You know I love the spicy flavor. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of my white pepper, black pepper, have some salt. And now I'm going to place this into the pan that I'm going to be cooking in. All right, so I got my pan here. Um, I'm going to go ahead at this time. I'm going to place my chicken in the pan. And I'm not going to add the rest of the uh, stuffing. I'm going to cook that separate in, uh, in a roasting pan so that this way I'll have a nice side of, of stuffing for my meal. All right, so now that I have this inside, I'm going to add a little something special to this. So I went to the farmer's market, and I got these nice pears, and I'm going to put pieces of pear. And again, this is to create um, some of that flavor into the chicken. I'm also going to go ahead, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth, because I, I want there to be juice so that everything doesn't stick to the pan. I've got it nice and mixed up, and even though I added in rosemary earlier, I'm gonna add a little bit of rosemary around. And now my chicken is ready to go into the oven. So I'm gonna place this in the oven and I'm gonna let that cook for about an hour to an hour and a half um, until the chicken is not only golden brown, um, but also it's at the proper temperature. Uh, you know, so I got the little pop-up. It'll tell me when it's done. And that's basically how you make stuffing and stuff a bird. I hope you enjoyed this uh, live version of Cooking with a Veteran. If you like our episodes, make sure that you uh, like and share below. Follow us on YouTube, Cooking with a Veteran. And if there's something you'd like to see me cook, go ahead and send me a message. Until next time, hoorah!